Crossing the Rocky Mountains by train afforded the Queen perhaps the most beautiful and impressive scenery of the Canadian tour so far. Everyone who makes this journey marvels at the engineering skill that built this part of the Transcontinental Railway. At the royal request, the train was stopped at a few places that she might meet people who had come from remote parts to see the Queen of Canada. All too soon, it was time to say goodbye to Ashcroft and to board the train again. Her Majesty and the Duke were soon to begin the descent into British Columbia, west of the Rockies, and almost a British scene awaited them as they mingled with the guests at the garden party at Government House Victoria. Prince Philip has received a great variety of presents during the tour, but none more unusual than this pair of peregrine falcons, the sort used in the sport of falconry that flourished in the Middle Ages. Now came another entertainment provided by Indians. Unknown to the public at this stage, the Queen was suffering from fatigue and later had to rest. At the end of the tour, she will fly home instead of returning by the Royal Yacht. All her subjects wish her a speedy and complete recovery.